The Zeus unit has been designed to intervene on wells at risk of uncontrollable or partially controllable flow of acid gas. The unit must be placed in a manner that the inflammable gel can reach the derrick floor. The unit is able to launch inflammable gas at a horizontal distance between 30 and 50 meters, reaching a maximum height of 32 meters. The unit is all contained inside a 10-foot container and it is autonomous. A connection from electrical grid is needed to power the wireless receiver. Upon request, if a more powerful solar panel is adopted, the system is completely independent from external energy networks. Once activated, the unit is able to operate automatically without any power supply from landlines, producing periodic cycles of inflammable streams. The operating cycles can be customized within the limits accepted by the system, according to the needs of the installation site. Inside the unit there are a CO2 fire extinguishing system that intervenes in case of start of fire, a system for the gel preparation and its storage, a system of automatic ignition of propane gas to ignite the gel, a washing system with nitrogen at low pressure to extinguish residual hotbeds in the launch nozzle, a system that releases nitrogen at different pressures for the unit operation, a power supply system with battery to store electric energy, a solar panel system of production and electric energy control to keep batteries in charge, a system for the release of the flammable gas, a system that allows the start and the control remotely. The CO2, propane and nitrogen systems are powered by standard 30 liter and 50 liter cylinders. Zeus begins operation only after that the on-site foreman has determined the effective need for unit intervention because the conditions satisfy the extraction site ignition criteria. The Zeus unit is controlled by a remote control panel located in a very precise point of the site far from the unit. The communication system between the unit and the panel is a Wi-Fi 2.4 GHz type. Two different signals are needed to activate the unit and launch the inflamed gel. The system is activated by specialized personnel when the site has been evacuated, switching the key on the remote control panel to the on position and pressing the start button. An alarm light on the remote control panel will warn of the system ignition. The siren and the strobe light located on the unit are activated. They will disactivate after 15 seconds. The first gel discharge will begin after 40 seconds and will last about 6. The chemical composition of the gel is such that it will have the complete combustion of the entire released mass in 3 to 4 minutes. gel mass that falls on the ground or on structures will continue to burn like small torches distributed around the well. The number of discharges and the launch frequency can be studied according to regulatory standards for safety of oil wells under the following circumstances. Uncontrolled flow of H2S from well. Small spill flows of acid gas, partially controlled, that don't offer any guarantees for the operator's safety. The unit is designed to launch maximum 20 gel streams. It is always possible to interrupt the cycle by switching the key on the remote control panel to the off position.